everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, it, I swear, even though the groundhog technically saw his shadow, I think Mother Nature hasn't got the message yet. I'm not sure she has because it's going back and forth. We'll have a warm day, a freezing cold day, a warm <laughs> everybody's sick. And it's, it's kind of a mess of a winter-spring transition. But either way, we were talking before we went on the air in that this is the time of year that when spring finally hits, you're going to see a surge in listings. Mm -hmm. But you've got some advice for people that are thinking about listing. You can go ahead and start doing some things inside your home. Absolutely. This is the time of the year. Yes, you can go ahead and kind of spruce up the outside, but you don't really know what's going to happen with right. the weather and if it's going to get warm or what it's going to do. So focus on the inside. Focus on I'm not a big person on repainting every room and doing all that kind of stuff, but make your house functional. So if you have something that's not functioning right now, if you have a window that gets stuck, if you have a sink that leaks, if you that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. now's the time to take care of that ahead of time. Go ahead. You can even get a home inspection early before listing a property and take care of those items before you even put the property on the market. That's a good idea because mm -hmm. someone else is going to have a home inspection done. So go Go ahead and do your own, that way there's no surprises. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a, being a little bit proactive, but it can save you money and time in the long run. That's right. All right, to get started with the first listing that we're going to talk about today, now this one is in on Coal Run Hill. It is. This is Gillum Street, so if you go up Coal mm -hmm. Run Hill right off of uh, Lycans Creek, over there close to Thompson Road, Pikeville Commons, that area. Go up Coal Run Hill, Gillum Street is up there on the top, kind of to your right. Mm -hmm. um, and this house is, it's an older home. It was built in 68, but it is a house that for that time period was built with these huge rooms. It's got hardwood flooring. It has all those extra amenities for somebody looking for space. And one of my favorite pictures on this one is the carport. Mm -hmm. Because what you're seeing that looks like a big open room is the carport, and it's kind of open on the other sides. And you said around the corner, there's a great back deck. Exactly. There's a great back deck right off of it. And the great thing about this carport is it's technically a three or four car carport. Easily four cars can mm -hmm. fit in here. But it's also got kind of an additional section off the back, the part that uh, connects to the deck, right. that is perfect for covered eating or... Um, you know, kind of an extension off your deck that's completely covered. So it's an outdoor area that's usable in the rain or anything right. like that. Three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So it's a spacious home, just over 2,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. It is. And this is one, they actually did a master bedroom addition. So that front portion you can see on the house is actually mm -hmm. a master bedroom, a really nice size master bedroom. And this is just outside the Pikeville city limits. And mm -hmm. what we said is so convenient to Pikeville Commons, to Coal Run or Pikeville, either one. It's a big convenience factor on this one. And it's one, you know, you might want to update the kitchen some. Mm -hmm. You might want to do a few of those personal touches. But overall, it's been a house that's been taken care of it's hardwood throughout so you have that charm already built in and the price on this one for everything mm -hmm. you're getting more than 2,000 square feet of living space and then all the outdoor living space that's not even included the price is 195,000 so for under two hundred thousand dollars on this home you're really it, it's a deal it really is it's a really good price on this house and it's one that if people are interested in seeing it it's one that we can show very easily all right now this is your listing so mm -hmm. let's give the pikeville office number okay that number is 606-437-2333 and feel free to ask for any of the agents there okay now moving along to the next listing let's move just inside the pikeville city limits this one is nightingale lane and this location is right off of Cedar Hills. If mm -hmm. you're traveling up Cedar Creek and you turn on Cedar Hills, right over the hill where Cedar Hills turns into Island Creek. Right. Nightingale Lane is a right, right there. This is another um, ranch house. It's a wood-sided ranch. Sits on a really nice lot. And the really nice thing about this one is it has a two-car attached garage mm -hmm. and a two-car oversized detached garage that's perfect for boat toys, lawnmowers, whatever you would want to do, you have that extra space to do it here. But like you said, nice size lot, actually it's half an acre, mm -hmm. just over half an acre. I and mean, you can see the front yard in the picture and then the back deck. 
I mean, that's just on the outside, and you've still got three bedrooms and two bathrooms on the inside. Exactly, and it's a really nice layout. You can see in one of the pictures um, that you've got the brick fireplace. That mm -hmm. fireplace separates the living room and kind of the dining area. So you have uh, that charm, mm -hmm. the brick fireplace charm on both sides. You've got the vaulted wood ceilings in that room as well. It's got an additional family room on the back of the house that could make a great you know, family room, movie room, anything mm -hmm. like that. This again, it just offers a lot of space and it's a very, very functional home. And looking at the space, I mean, it's not very often you can say there's a home inside the Pikeville city limits on a half an acre. You know, the backyard is completely fenced. So if you have kids or pets mm -hmm. or anything like that, but the yard that's over close to the detached garage, is completely open. So if you wanted to park a camper, if you mm -hmm. wanted to do any of that kind of stuff, you have the flat yard. Most of this half acre is flat and usable. So you have that yard space. Okay, is this one people can drive by? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. I know you always encourage those drive-bys mm -hmm. and your sign is in the front yard. It is. <laughs> and if, if someone, we gave your number just a moment ago, but let's give your email address. Some people prefer to reach out that way. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, the listing, of the, pr the number on this one is 107909. That will let her pull that listing right up. The price on this one, 229. So another one in a good price range. If that's your range, you're looking for something, give her a call or shoot her an email. Now the next home is, we're just going to call this one open and spacious. <laughs> exactly. And this is one, we've talked about it before. Uh -huh. If you go over Chloe Road from town, you're going to go over Chloe Mountain and then you're going to look for that left hand turn on Upper Chloe. Right. Just past that turn is where this house sits. And this is a fairly new construction. Mm -hmm. I think you said built in 2009. So it's got all the amenities and looking at the pictures, it's got all the bells and whistles too. Exactly. And I. The pictures that I included, I did on purpose this time because I know the first picture, there's a picture that's shooting from the kitchen through the living room. Mm -hmm. And I didn't include this one last time just because the lighting's a little weird on it. But I wanted to make sure and include it this time because when you say open and spacious, it really is a very open and spacious house. You yes. have tons of storage. You have plenty of room for a separate dining room, um, which you can kind of see to the right of that main picture. And mm -hmm. then you've got a really nice size living room. So you're not losing space by having it be open. It just makes it so much more functional for a family or something like that. And the great thing about this, if three bedrooms isn't exactly enough or you would mm -hmm. need a little bit more, this offers an office that is not counted as a bedroom. This also offers unfinished bonus room over the garage. There is a full stairway up to it, but wow. it is not heated and cooled now. So if somebody wanted to finish it out, it's sitting there ready to be finished if you wanted another room or a bonus room or anything like that. So this one's the best of both worlds. You get everything that's finished out and done so very well, mm -hmm. but then you've got your blank spaces to come in and customize and make your own. So exactly. you're, you're getting Beth, the best of both worlds. All right, two forty nine nine is the price on this one. Uh, like we said, Upper Cloy, just over the the hill going out of the city limits of mm -hmm. Pikeville. So this one's going to be convenient to for sixty or Pikeville, either one. So if this is something you're looking for and that's in your price range, uh, give that Pikeville office a call. And Jennifer, let's give that number. Okay, the number six zero six four three seven two three three three. All right, now let's switch gears a little bit and go from residential to commercial. Now this one, we talk about a clean slate. This is a vacant lot. It is, this is a vacant lot. And we have, we've talked about it, but I think it was at the very beginning of when we started doing the show. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we just like to bring up because you talk about commercial space and people assume that means a building. They've, they've got something on it. Mm -hmm. This is commercial space that truly is, like you said, a blank slate. So you've got eight acres of property that is ready for or commercial business or whatever you would want to put there. Now, if you're familiar with the area where Sunshine Grow Shop is, mm -hmm. now this is technically, I believe, in Coal Run, just out of the Pikeville city limits, but it's close to Pikeville Commons. It's close mm -hmm. to shopping in Coal Run and Pikeville. So, you know people are traveling this area to shop anyway. Why not put your business right there? Now, most people that are familiar with Eastern Kentucky understand that sits down a little bit low. Mm -hmm. You do have the back portion of it is floodplain, and they are aware of that. But you've got over four acres that is out of the floodplain, 
that offers direct access to 23. The property owners will actually even look at dividing the property. So if you really? don't need that much property. So I'm assuming this is your listing as well. It is. All right, out of let's, the Pikeville office. Let's give that Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. All right, this commercial listing is 850,000. Now that's for the total thing, but as Jennifer mm -hmm. said, it could possibly be divided. So if you've got any questions, give her a call. Absolutely. All right, one more commercial property that we're going to talk about. Now this one's in Floyd County. It is. This is in the Banner area. If you're familiar with where Daniels Creek is, right mm -hmm. there in Banner, um, this sits about two tenths to three tenths of a mile up on your left. You will see the signs. It's a really hard to miss property. The total property is almost 34 acres. Mm -hmm. So you're getting all this flat space, but you're getting some of the hillside. So if you want a business and you want to know that you own all the property around it for security reasons, this this may be the one for you. <laughs> exactly. And it, it you can do it at many ways. You you can have that acreage for store mm -hmm. or for storage, for privacy, future development. If you ever wanted right. to look into developing anything in the future, that's a lot of property to do that with. And you know, acreage is one thing, but on the buildings that are there, mm -hmm. square footage is huge. You've got one warehouse space that's more than 7,500 square feet. That's correct. And the great thing about that warehouse space, that's actually was the storefront um, for the mining company that used to be there. So it offers a reception area, mm -hmm. offers two office spaces, has two large garage doors. So you have the ability to have a fully functioning business just out of that building. So if you only would need one or other, you can get both buildings, lease out the other one if you really needed to. Right, and the other one is still 3,100 square feet. Now that's office space. Mm -hmm. And it is eight to 10 offices, direct access to the warehouse, but they are disconnected if you ever did want to separate them. One thing that we didn't mention the last time was that it has three-phase power. Mm -hmm. That to a lot of businesses is important because you need some things you need more power to. So they've already taken advantage of that. Exactly. The warehouse does have three phase available. And then you can see in the pictures, there's additional storage. And when I say sheds, I'm not talking about a shed off the side of a storage building. These are sheds that can probably park 10 to 15 large utility trucks or something right. like that. It's a very large parking area and, and cover covered shed space. So if you've got anything where you have a fleet of vehicles mm -hmm. or trucks or anything like that and you just have had a hard time figuring out where to park them all, heavy equipment, there's a lot of things that would fit right into this. So um, let's give your email address in case someone wants to email you. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, the price on this one, 350000 for everything you're getting. I mean, all this flat space plus mm -hmm. the other acreage for a total of 34 acres in Floyd County. We didn't even mention how convenient this area is to both Prestonsburg and Pikeville. So if you're looking for something like this to expand your business or to start your business, give Jennifer a call. Absolutely. And, you know, let's give your website because okay. if, if someone's looking for a commercial and this may not be what they want, you've got other ones to choose from. Absolutely. And check the website for any of our listings mm -hmm. in Louisa, Johnson County, Floyd County, Pike County. We cover about 15 counties. So if you have an interest, definitely check the website and that's rbnw.com. All right. Thank you for five great listings. Now I'm going to take a second and step out and let you do your real estate minute. Sounds good. Are you thinking about buying a home in the future, but you aren't ready to contact a realtor or to view properties? Where is the best place to start? Our local Board of Realtors offers a website with local listings that feeds directly into Realtor.com. If you're looking for all the properties listed in Eastern Kentucky, this is the website recommended to view. Most listings will give you the property details, pictures, and other information to get you started on your search. And remember, when you're ready to start viewing properties, the agents of Ray Brown Williams Real Estate Services would be honored to assist you through the buying process. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Ray Brown Williams Show. Join us again soon.